everyone and welcome back to my channel my name is Rachel Ray and today we're gonna do another year in review video to show you all of the diamond paintings that I've co co completed collected no we're not gonna do that um all of the diamond paintings that I have completed and also an update on all of my works in progress so that if you'd like a condensed version of what I've been doing on my channel this is the video for you um just keep in mind that I will probably not be listing all of these companies in the description box, but I will do my best. Um, if you have any problems, just, yeah, just let me know in a comment. Okay, let's get started. So this is in no particular order. I am not organized enough for that anymore. However, I'm going to go kind of from smallest to largest. That seems like a, an appropriate thing to do. This is a 20 by 20 square drill mandala from home craftology i did purchase this exact same mandala from another company so that we could eventually do a comparison on sizes because size does matter and in the meantime if you haven't seen it already there's a brilliant video by four kids at 147 who did a size comparison. It must have taken her a year to do all of those canvases, but it was well worth it in the end. Uh, but check out her channel. It's got to be one of her most popular videos. Um, it overall did not have a great experience with this. And if you want to see any more uh, in-depth descriptions and, and comments, uh, please have a look at my completed Diamond Paintings playlist, which I will absolutely link down below. So that's the first one. Uh, next up, we have Diamond Art Clubs. This is, what is it called? Princess Mononoke. This is by JoJo's Arts, and I really like this diamond painting. Um, it's a little bit small for me, though. I would love to have seen it in a bigger size. I don't know why they didn't, to be honest, and it's really none of my business, but I would have loved to have this one much bigger. This one was 44 by 32 centimeters. And I think I did this during the, some kind of diamond painting a thon uh, while I was watching everybody else work. So pretty. All right, that's that one. Next we have Diamond Dots. And this was a gift. This is called Cherry Blossom Mountain and it's a partial drill. There we go, you can kind of see the sparkle there so pretty. I love this piece because it has this gorgeous like ink feeling to it in the background and then you get that sp spark of color and truthfully this is <laughs> this is one of my favorites. Um, I'm not always a partial fan but I think that Diamond Dots does a really good job and again I have a completed review of that on my channel as well. All of these I do. Next, I'm going to have to find somewhere else to put these. This is a full drill crystal. So all of this is crystal except for the black, the 310. Oh, there's the sun's coming out so you can really see it. This is Van Gogh's Starry Night or Van Gogh's Starry Night. Look at the sparkle on this. Insane. Uh, would I recommend this particular piece? Not really. <laughs> um, it's a little bit washed out. Uh, it's very bright. I learned that I'm probably not going to do full drill diamond paintings again. And I don't think that my diamonds ever came in in the mail. I'm going to have to ask Lucy because um, I'm missing all of those still. But um, this, this was completed and it took ages and ages. And um, if confetti is your thing, by all means, go for it. But there are 25 different colors of, of crystal rhinestones, and I'd say that half of them are blue. <laughs> so that's that one. Next up is Royal Diamond Painting. I got a custom of my dog Luna, and this is a 50 by 50. Oh, I didn't say the Star Ore is, it says 23.6 inches by 15.7 inches. This is a 50 by 50 uh, round drill from Royal Diamond Painting. And that's why people always ask me all the time, where do you get customs? I get mine from Royal Diamond Painting. This one had a lot of colors in it and it came out beautiful. This is one of my favorite pictures of my dog. And I think that the, it, it took me a very long time to finish this diamond painting, but 
the effect is amazing. Their round drills are so sparkly. I don't know if I've seen... There are only a few companies that have drills this sparkly. And it is beautiful. So, highly recommend their customs uh, and just their, their work in general. Um, please have a look at them if you'd like. And what a labor of love. <laughs> I need to frame this. Next up is my princess of peace this is from diamond art club this is completely framed i have it fr i'm gonna try to bring her down i have it framed so that it's hanging from those i don't know what you call them they're like some kind of like a sandwich thing wooden thing i don't know anyway i used really heavy duty glue and i um hammered them in so that it would stay and then I've used fishing wire along with the ribbon just to give it the strength that it needs to hold that up because I don't want the ribbon to break and you can't see it on the wall at all. Like you cannot see that fishing line. Uh, this is supposed to be donated to my local library. Unfortunately, they were not accepting anything last year due to the, the panini, the great panini. <laughs> Is that what we're calling it now the panoramic um this is an amazing diamond painting the only disney princess line that i have completed and i have lots of great memories with this diamond painting you can see me work on it in hyperlapse in the battle of the waxes and there's the ab's you can see them shimmering off the canvas right there and oh beautiful I really enjoyed it um, and and this one on these sorts of longer paintings I do recommend just working a section that's across the painting um, it goes by a lot quicker that way <laughs> um, but that's just from experience and um, I'm going to go ahead and roll this up and put it back in my living room where it currently lives I'll be right back all right, next up we have Mad Kitty. This one took me a lot longer than um, I had expected, but there were so many things that went on in the past year, and I was away for a very long time. So getting my mojo back took a little while. I'm not going to lie. But this is Mad Kitty from Diamond Art Club, and I'm sorry for shaking the camera. This has... The kit comes with black glow-in-the-dark drills that are UV sensitive. And then I went ahead and I put white glow-in-the-dark in all the places that there is white on this kit. And so it does look really cool. Um, but it does need to be powered by a black light. So uh, I got a little torch and it looks really cool when you do that. Um, but even without the glow, it's still fantastic. So... Really love this one. This one is a, is it 70, 71 by 51 and 38 color or 36 colors. Very cool. Now the next two that I have are not done by me. Um, these are actually done by my friend Allison, but I thought I'd include them because you would have seen them on my channel. These two are dreamer designs. This one is called Reverie. And this is the big size. This one, does it tell me on the canvas? Yeah, 75 by 60. Very pretty. I like this one a lot. I love all the colors in it. I wish there was a little bit more detail, but it's beautiful. And then there's also Dreams of Elysium, which, sorry, I gotta move this one down. Them on the floor <laughs> I've run out of space um and hold on one second. you have to adjust my camera as well uh so this one is gorgeous as well um I think you can probably see it better in in this light what I meant if you watched my post review um there's this huge spot of ab no you'd have to be hang on at this angle it doesn't capture it very well on camera, but anyway, um, it's still very, very beautiful. Um, 
fair play to everybody who loves these confetti paintings. <laughs> um, I'm so glad that I have a friend who's willing to help me uh, get through the paintings that I just don't seem to have all the time for. So I'm very blessed for that. Thank you so much. Um, but these, I've got in-depth reviews of both of those as well on my site. I almost forgot about it, but I also did this painting called Jesus Blessing by Diamond Art Club. And I do have all the details in this video, which is the um, Easter Depal celebration video. Um, but this was a gift for my grandmother. So I finished this over the Easter holidays in 2020. All right, let's talk about whips. Works in progress. And here in a minute, I'm going to have to move all of these paintings out of the way. All right. So this one you haven't seen in a long time. This one is Treasure Studios Art Halloween Secrets. This one is a 70 by 80 centimeter. So that's what I have done so far. And this is how big it is. So it's not much left to go. Now, I was talking to some friends of mine. And I was saying I might not finish her this year. I don't know. Would you like to see me finish her this year? Is it possible? <laughs> I'm really not sure because there are some really beautiful um, paintings that I want to do that I've had my eye on for years. I'm at the Elf. If you don't know, Rachel from Treasure Studios Art actually designed this with me, um, asked me what Halloween was, what what Halloween meant to me. And I've had some real fun with this painting. I did a little bit of personalization on it with some sparklers when they first came out from dpwithsparklers.com. Um, so I made the jack-o'-lantern have glowy eyes and I'm, I might do some other things just to kind of brighten it up. And I think that the reason that I'm just kind of looking at it and being like, oh, I don't know, is because it's so brown. And um, yeah, it's gorgeous. It's just very brown. But I, I feel like I should push through, but I'd like to know your opinion. So please let me know in a comment down below if you would like to see this painting come out again uh, this holiday season. I'm going to roll it up. This is, oh, by the way, this is round drill and they are smaller than the average rounds. If you order this painting now, though, I think that they only have the regular sized round drills. They don't have these small ones anymore. These switch drill providers. I have another TSA, Treasure Studios Art. This is called Wildlife. Whoops. This is called Wildlife, and it is a square, and that's as far as I got. I wanted to check the drills on it. Um, they are popping. So... This is a whip. It, I've started it. It's hanging up in my closet because I've already started on it. I don't have plans to to work on this right now, but you know, I just wanted to show you that's where I am. Once you have the drills on, you can roll it backwards. Uh, but TSA in particular, with their mounting film adhesive, you wanna make sure that you're always rolling it with the drills facing out even when you're not drilling on it. Something about the adhesive. If you roll it the other way with the design inward, like a Diamond Art Club, then you can make the, the glue pucker. And nobody wants that. All right, next up, I have Kimono by Diamond Shop. And the last time that I showed her, I think I had just gotten to here and um, I had only just filled in the flower a little bit. So I have made some progress. This is also a round drill and it is a 30 by 85. Sorry about the dog hair, but she's beautiful. Um, so I, I do still have quite a bit to go but it's still in perfect condition. It's been, it's been two years almost since I got her and it's still sticky, everything is perfectly fine with the canvas. So looking forward to completing that one. Then we have the diamond painting that I started with, um, <laughs> 
is <laughs> so cool. Cheryl Burke is a dancer. Um, um, I want to call her like a mindfulness teacher because she actually is really good at, you know, making everyone feel included. And um, she does a podcast with the guy from the Backstreet Boys. <laughs> it's, it's really cool. Anyway, um, Cheryl invited me, Dazzle Driller, and Mrs. Crochet and Coffee to come on to her um, Zoom, a, a little Instagram a diamond painting session and it was amazing. I had the best time and I managed to drill almost to like the third, a third of the painting. Um, this section is much bigger than those sections, but anyway, um, gorgeous painting. It's called After the Rain. This is part of the collection that she curated with Diamond Art Club. Was it in 2020? I think it was. I think it was in 2020. So I got quite a bit done. I'll bring this up so that you can see a little bit. This one is harder to get the sparkle on. I think it's because of all the yellows and there's a lot of ABs here, but it is a really gorgeous kit. I love those fall colors. And it would be really great if I could finish this one this year, just since I have it and it's kitted up and you know, but that's that one. That one is, is a 61 by 51 round drill. Time of painting. All right, next up, this is a gift that I got from Lizzie. Uh, Lizzie has a channel here on YouTube. I will make sure to link, link her down below. And I decided at the end of 2019 to start her and to make it a Christmas Advent style where you undo a section each day and complete it. You can see that that didn't really work out so well for me in the end, um, but now I know what the photo is. Um, this is a Leonard Avramov, or no, sorry, Victor Azramov. And unfortunately, I cannot complete this, complete this on the channel any longer because uh, this was not a licensed piece. This is a custom work as a gift, but just so that you know, um, I believe this one was like an 80, it doesn't say, but I think it was like a 50 by 80 or 80 by 50. I'm not a hundred percent, but, um, I do like the pink raspberry. Their canvas is fantastic. It's very hard. You can tell. And then they gave me black ABs to place wherever I liked on the kit. The only thing about it is that there is spacing between the diamonds and I don't know if that is still happening now because I haven't had the pleasure of purchasing from her since she's based in Canada um, but it was a super pleasure working on this so I do really enjoy it all right and then we get to the last whips I'm trying to like move things around there we go last two whips so this one is galaxy by diamond art club this one is a 42 by 53 square drill painting and oh, it's very heavy the sparkle is unbelievable it's unreal i love it so much i am using crystals in her earrings those are from dpwithsparklers.com tima uh, and I decided to give her accents with these square, square crystals. And those are from Shimmering Canvases. Let me just double check. Whoops. These are from, yeah, Shimmering, Shimmering Canvases.com. So they sent me... A whole packet of these and I wanted to try them out and they're wonderful they're absolutely fabulous um, and I want to actually use more of them uh, but I will have to do it on another on another kit anyway she is looking beautiful and if you want to learn how I section my diamond paintings this way I have a video uh, winter with DAC look that up on my channel all one word winter with DAC and it will pop up the kidding video I show you exactly how I do it so if I pull this back you can see that I am still working on two sections but she is gorgeous 
gorgeous. Um, I need to get back to working with her, but because I am working with Mrs. Coffee right now, you might know this one is the When Fun Never Ends, which we're doing a DP along just for summer, just for fun, to have lots of color. Now this one is huge and the size is at the bottom. Uh, and I have caught up to this section right now. And I'm pretty sure that Mrs. Coffee is like here or she's probably reached me already. Um, I'm not surprised. I'm not quite halfway, but I'm close. Um, this painting just keeps going. So uh, yeah, see, it's still going. All right. Um, so this one is a 51 by 137. Yeah. And I'll just bring it back up here so that we can see. I think I have a, a measuring tape. All right. You can see all my mess now. Uh, out of 137, how far am I? Actually, that doesn't very really work. You're going to see my arm for a minute. I am at 58 out of 137. So very nearly to the center point, but not quote, not as close as I'd like to be. Once I do this row, then I will be. Um, this one has been an absolute joy to work on and I keep coming back to it almost every day. Uh, especially in the past little bit because I really do want to finish this in August uh, and that is the goal. The goal actually for me this year in diamond painting is to finish my whips. I have a lot of them. Um, I love them all and I want to finish um, especially like I've got so many older ones. I've got newer ones. 2020 was a hard year for everybody. But um, when I get stressed out, I start new things, <laughs> clearly. Uh, and I think that it might be a good idea to, to whip the whips. Hashtag whip the whips. And a whip is a work in progress. Right. Okay. Well, I think that's it for me today. <laughs> um, let me know what you think about the, you know, after the rain, about the Treasure Studios art. Which one should I do for for the... Um, well, I can't participate in drills and chills <laughs> because I don't want to start a new canvas, but I do want to finish a whip. So I'm, e I'm going to either continue the tradition of working on her or I'll work on after the rain or something like that. And also I feel like it's not fair because I won the first drills and chills, <laughs> but I want you to participate drills and chills. If you don't know about it, I'm going to link the video here. Okay. 23, 25. Um, I'm going to link that video so that you can see, uh, exactly what I'm talking about and what drills and chills is. Basically you start a canvas that's Halloween themed, uh, spooky, creepy, whatever you want it to be. Uh, you, you start on September 1st and you have to finish it by October 31st, uh, to be entered into the grand prize. That's essentially what it is, but there are lots more details in that video. Um, tiny worlds of wonder and diamonds and washi are working together to host this year's drills and chills. So good luck, ladies. I know you could do it and good luck to everybody who decides to join in. Thank you so much for watching this update video. I know it's not the end of the year, but hey, maybe we'll have another one of these by the end of the year, who knows, uh, since I seem to be diamond painting more and more. Thank you all so much for watching this video. I hope you have a wonderful day, a wonderful week, and I will see you all soon in my next video. Take care, everyone. Bye.